Can't get any of this fish. treasure hunt. Pointless. Well, not if Cinder really can make us better equipment with that wet stuff. Plus, the Reaver's son. He murdered his father. Well, good thing you good thing Atreus doesn't know about Kratos' past, huh? <laughs> Oh, he, oh, Kratos definitely did have reason. Some reason, not too, too much. But... Ooh. on map 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 no goals let's find Vox Red at least that guy he knows then I'll continue on the main quest <laughs> Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. Yeah. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother is the giantess Bjorgun, one huh. of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Where? Once Bjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted beneath his master. <laughs> And after no small amount of convincing, they are agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. <laughs> the peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Well, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. That's sad. A lot of people living in big old cracks, aren't they? We can reach about here. You must be have been going. You must have been moving fast to be to be able to beach a boat like that. I have a lot of momentum for that. Lord. And Barry's invention. Through the path of the mind lies through this path lies the mines of Olander. 
This great endeavor is made possible and and Vary the Alchemist, son of Elvaldi, who, whose ingenu ingenuity, a very stone and bedrock, was turned from obstacle to mighty tool of industry. The Dwarven Miner's greatest fear has always been running afoul of the ancients, who, and Vary's genius. They are now no more than tools in our righteous undertaking. And we wait for dwarves bonds here. No mere miners, but masters of iron. Whose greatest craft is the future itself. So, I wonder what happened. <laughs> Hey, bro. I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If when you're smart, you'll find him. Oh, almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend Mimir. We've, We've met. met. <laughs> oh, why didn't you say so? He, he knows, knows why. why. <laughs> I know why. You know, you why. know why. Quiet. No more of this. You don't need yeah. another Castello in routine. I'm sorry I brought it up. <laughs> All right, what'd you break? Oh, I'm going to be able to get that uh, next piece of armor, too, out here, aren't I? Moving on, then. Can't you and Sindri just patch things up? Whatever happened couldn't be all that bad. Your family. Now, don't be lecturing me about family. I ain't the one what forgot what her name stood for. What we made, the weapons we made were legendary across nine realms for True. more years than I can get. They made We just don't throw that away on account of one bad. One bad what? You one bad nothing. Ain't you got somewhere to be? Nope. Those two, in the mythology, those two made Molnir. What does it say? The handle was sugar. Uh. Hand these runes read death inside. Ah. <laughs> but the reason uh, Molnir's handle is, is a mallet instead of a warhammer was uh, Loki basically fucked things up on purpose. It was so, a bet. Brock said his friend was dwarven like him, wearing a green ring. Look if you wish. I will be gathering resources for our journey. You don't want to help him? No. Why not? Because I do not want errands for dwarves. Yeah, you do. Oh. Dwarven, but no ring. One of his crew? George Marks. There, along the floor and wall. Weird. I guess we keep looking. Huh. We? I mean, I'll keep looking. <laughs> oh, that's, I see what's happening. That's cute. Like, we don't do this, but I'll let you do it. I should have said that there was an enemy underneath it. Hmm? Oh. That's a soul eater. If that kills us, what? that's it. No Valhalla, no hell, no ever. It does not attack. Ah, oh. Mom made them sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come. Oh, I want to smash its head in. How's oh, my gonna get the resources? Ow. 
Okay, I like this ability. Can't beat us. Don't jinx it. Not him. Hey, how you doing there? I noticed the lack of ring while looting the body. <laughs> oh. I just realized. Where is the thing today? <laughs> Out of these. Ooh, hi. Check the ring on that severed hand. What severed Attached hand? To the soul eater. Well, oh, you know I what see. I've been doing Vari now. We can just go tell Brock. I don't need to fight it, right? No, we will fight it. <laughs> why? Because you are frightened of it. That's actually kind of sweet. Wait, we're afraid. You're afraid of this thing. Let's go kick its ass. Well, did I skip down here before I was supposed to? Maybe. No. Fantastic. Oh, I. There's stuff. Why was that breakable? thing somewhere. Mimir ha hasn't had anything to say about this. I guess this is something you could have done before. Got him. It was a massacre.
Where is that last? Strong address. Stay focused and look for a weak point. Yes, sir. Let's go kill a harmless giant because we can. That's not harmless, but it's leaving us alone. Stay quiet. Make no sudden movement. It's really not bothering. Me. Kinda feel bad. Oh, there we go. At least this time I'll be able to start with more health. Be strong, Atreus. Stay focused and look for a weak point. Yes, sir. Stay quiet. Make no movement. That wasn't so hard. I say having died once and just We did it! I can't believe it. Believe it. You are stronger than you know. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Let's see if that's the alchemist ring. Ooh, that's useful, I think. Yes, it is. Dwarvish inscription. The alchemist. But where's the rest of him? Ashes, most likely. Oh, you're gone. I guess we should bring this back to Brock. Bring back to Brock, and then we continue on our career quest. go. <laughs> Let's see. Anything? Did I miss anything? No.
what does it say? Sir. This sir? <laughs> These runes were written fast. It spells out Ejim Staney. Hmm. I don't know that one. Hmm. Who asked the blue one? So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised. Ready yourself, boy! <laughs> Excuse me. No. So swapping this back because while it is strong, I find the other one. Can I swap? No. Nope, we ain't going back down because I just saw that. I try to miss that. There you go, you're free. Sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside. And well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxi. Oh. I'll take a closer look at this here ring. Maybe Anvari left a bit of magic inside for he groped. Cool. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. <laughs> Supple ones. Ugh. Yeah. I'm not as interested as I thought. <laughs> oh there. Got another favor to ask you to. Nope. Hear it later. Doing main quest. See ya. Useful, but I'm but like the one I got equipped currently. Now let's see. Main quest, main quest. certainly know how to get around. Mm -hmm. So, Mimir, seem like maybe you know Brock and Sindri. Or the Huldra brothers. Well, who doesn't? They're quite famous or infamous, depending on your point of view. They crafted Mjolnir, you see. Thor's yep. hammer, the Aesir's greatest murder weapon, the bane of giant kind. 
they made Thor's hammer? I didn't think they'd like the answer. Oh, I should say not. But this was long ago, and they were eager to make a name for themselves. Rather overdid it with that one, methinks. <laughs> now, it makes sense why uh, the Leviathan Axe is very similar to those hammer in the way to, like, turn to your grip. Shriveled hearts for Brock. I got needs. I mean, Not to self, never, never try to talk with your mouthful. Terribly rude. Ooh, ooh. Fruit. Okay, obviously the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption nope, of her magic, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities no. and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Or still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. I lied. So would I. Poor Feek. You were taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace. Okay. Yet her remains lie in pieces. Oh, that's not I good. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You can try. Wants to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig say their magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. This sounds as suspicious as fudge. <laughs> that is... A special chisel is ahead past this gate. Hi. Hey, what are you not doing here?
Kratos did. That's actually very cool. That's cool. Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to mom again. If we keep an eye out, look while if you we... wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. Uh huh? This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad chisel. you asked that. <laughs> Just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Ooh. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, oh. and the overworked stonemason struck his son. Oh. Rimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. 